When the work on the Rogers Ranch is under control, I like to try a little trap shooting. If Dusty and Sandy spot me with my trap gun, that's all they need. Boy, they head for our Chevy fleet side on the double. That's the new two-tone job we've been using lately. There are Dale and the girls. They're off to town in our Chevy El Camino. Dale sure thinks the world of it. I sure do. It's as modern as a Chevy car and handles every bit as nice, too. I like to use our Chevy fleet side because on our rough ranch roads or off, it's as frisky as Trigger Jr. and just as gentle. And let me tell you, that load has to be handled gently. Those boxes are filled with fragile clay targets we use in my new hobby, trap shooting at the Roy Rogers Sports Center, just a few minutes from my ranch. The boys sure are anxious to get shooting, but at the Rogers house, work comes first. So we start unloading the clay targets, and there's lots of them, because the fleet side can hold up to 50% more than a regular pickup. And notice how easy the boxes slide on those steel skid strips Chevy builds into its tough wood floor. When the work's over, the fun begins. And I like to take a few shots to show the boys how it's done. I always tell them to treat a gun like it's loaded. Safety rules are the first things I teach them. That's the 410 Dusty started with. Now we're ready. Dusty yells, pull. Our trap man lets her fly. A hit for Dusty. After an afternoon of fun comes the evening chores. And the Chevy fleet side is our good-looking, hard-working companion, no matter how big the load or how tough the job. That's why, at work or play, the Rogers are a Chevrolet family 100%. Work is long, a truck that's strong is what you ought to drive. When work is done, a guy needs one that really comes alive. The Dodge Boys, your adventurer, is with you all the way. A truck that leads a double life for working and for play. Adventurer, adventurer. From Dodge, more truck per buck. Dodge Adventurer is a truck that leads a double life. Adventurer is built for excitement with bucket seats, carpeting, concealed console, and padded back. Drive Dodge Adventurer, the double duty pickup with a sports car feel. Adventurer, Adventurer, from Dodge, more truck per buck. See and drive Adventurer at your Dodge dealer today. We asked Harry Gilmer, coach of the Detroit Lions, to put the all-new, smooth-moving 67 Ford pickup truck through some grueling football drills. Here's how they perform. All right, move out. The 67 Ford pickups are built to handle easier than any pickup on the market, to feel and ride like a car. All right, let's run through this tire drill. Ford's exclusive twin I-beam suspension is the reason for its road-smoothing ride. See, it has two front axles. Each front wheel steps over bumps independently. There's a lot of shoulder room in there. Now here's the Ford team in action. Watch truck number 31 as it does an end-run sweep. That's real sure-footed maneuverability. Go with a 67 Ford pickup. Works like a truck, rides like a car. You're ahead in a Ford all the way. Meet 98-pound Jackie Logan of RFD6, Ames, Iowa. Hi there. Everybody asks what I do around this farm. Well, I don't do any heavy work. Dad won't let me. But he does let me drive the truck for him. That's because our truck is a 1954 Ford pickup. And believe you me, it handles as easily as a passenger car. Take a look inside. We've got plenty of room, lots of window space, and we've got Ford automatic and power brakes. It's only natural we got these two Ford extras. They really save us time and money. And this Ford pickup, like all Ford trucks, gives you triple economy. The savings of increased power, better driving facilities, and big capacity. The three big areas of savings. See and test drive the new Ford triple economy pickup truck soon.
walked along, my mind was free, and not inclined romantically when suddenly I stumbled over you and fell in love. Our glances met, my heart stood still, I never knew that dreams came true, my dear, until I stumbled over you and fell in love. The night without a warning, the newborn morning found me in love. There we were alone, your lips entreating, your eyes competing with blue above. You smiled at me, and there and then, you indicated we were rightly mated when I stumbled over you and fell in love. There's a road that lies under northern skies toward the land of the midnight sun. It crosses the crest of the great northwest, and it's known as the Al Can Run. And from Dawson's Creek with a task force fleet of the 57 line, we blaze the way for Chevrolet to conquer the Al Can Grind. Our engines were sealed, our tanks were sealed, for once we were underway, Every mile of that ride would be certified by the seal of the AAA. Hamio Carrier 57. One ton panel 57. Dump body tandem axle. Fan panel body low cab forward. Five speed transmission tractor trailer. Tractor trailer powermatic. The trucks of the Task Force Fleet. A great new champion, every weight, the mighty six, the great new eight, the wildly crux, so up to date is Chevrolet, the champion of them all. Fighting dust, fighting time, on that long northern climb, alone against all nature's might, these trucks made by Chevy, light, medium, heavy, roared into the wilderness night. The lightning flashed, the hailstorm crashed, the rain turned the road to paste. We drove our band through that washed out land up into the Yukon waste. The night is gone and here's the dawn, the motor's humming clear and strong. The great new champs are pushing on for Chevrolet, the champion of them all. So we made our push through the Arctic bush on that ribbon of mountainous road, and we held our stride on that rugged ride in spite of the heavy load. Our Matic transmission locked in position, no shifting from drive to low, proving by test that Chevy is best wherever a truck can go. rivers to span with our caravan, and the valleys were wide and deep. Though the way was hard, with hydraulic retard, we held where the grades were steep. Statistics say at the triple A, it's a 72-hour drive, but we roared down into Fairbanks town in less than 45. Chance of the Elkan Run! If you haul loads, over all kinds of roads, Chevy trucks are number one. They're engineered best and proven by test, the champs of the Al Can Run. Task Force 57 Chevrolet trucks are here. Task Force 57 Chevrolet. Champs of the Al Can Run. Not always appreciated. This little incident shows how Ford gives you the world's smoothest pickup ride. Each front wheel can step over bumps independently because Ford has two front axles, one for each wheel.
even little things count, so Ford's twin I-beam suspension is insulated at four places against even little shocks. And that's why Ford is the world's smoothest riding pickup. Happily, in the end, the law does uphold the artist. Discover the world's smoothest pickup ride. See your Ford dealer soon. They're here, the trucks that leave all others behind. Brand new 59 Ford trucks that take you Fordward in modern design and Fordward for savings. There's a brand new four-wheel drive Ford pickup. Here's traction and power to tame the roughest off the road going. Once inside Ford's new custom cabs, you discover a wealth of new comfort features. New two-tone interior and instrument panels. New longer wearing upholstery. Everything's new. And setting the style pace forward, the all-new Ranchero for 59. It rides like a car, works like a truck. There's big truck news from Ford, too. New tandem axle tilt cab boards for 59. Now you can haul extra tons of payload with tilt cab visibility, easy handling, and economy. Yes, to own and run, Ford trucks cost less and last longer, too. So for 59, go Fordward for savings. See your Ford dealer now. Today, there's a new word for modern in pickup truck design. It's Fordward. That's the way you'll go in new Ford trucks for 1959. Go Fordward in style in the all-new Ford Ranchero. It rides like a car. It works like a truck. For all its high style, it carries over half a ton. Go Fordward with power. Power in all four wheels. Ford's new four-wheel drive pickup give you traction enough for a six-foot ditch or a 60% grade. They're yours at low Ford prices, too. Go Fordward for savings with one of 13 different Ford pickups to choose from for 59. See them now at your Ford dealer. You'll see the difference. You'll save the difference when you go Fordward in the new Ford trucks for 59. <laughs> Who put the D in Ford Word? F-O-R-D, Ford Word. Who put the D in Ford Word? The new Ford trucks for 59. They're here today. Brand new Ford trucks for 59. Here to take you Ford Word in modern comfort, modern style, and modern savings. New Ford tilt cab tandems for 59 let you haul extra tons of payload with tilt cab economy. New, all-new Ford Rancheros for 59 set the pace for modern efficiency. They ride like a car, work like a truck, and are just one example of the biggest choice of pickups in the industry, from Ford for 59. New Ford style side pickups give you extra style, extra load space, at no extra cost. Come put your best foot forward today. See your Ford dealer. See the difference. Save the difference in new Ford trucks for 59. Go forward for savings now. Announcing a new shape, a new design, with a new name. Ford Econoline. Econoline, a completely new concept in trucks, a great engineering advance. Here's the Econoline pickup, all the way new to save four big ways. First, lowest price, as much as $239 less than standard half-tonners. Second, certified test prover can deliver up to 30 miles per gallon. You can save as much as 40% on gas. Third, less dead weight. With 1,050 pounds less chassis weight, the Econoline pickup carries over a three-quarter ton payload. Fourth, bigger load space. Full seven-foot box. Up to 23% more load space, yet three feet less truck length to handle. It's the newest pickup from Ford. With a new shape, a new design, and a new name, Ford Econoline. 
Now, here's Ford's new Econoline van with all the same money-saving economy features, the same trip-saving load space. You can load it from the rear or from curbside. And inside, over 204 cubic feet of cargo space. There's never been a panel truck easier to load, easier to park and unpark, easier to own than this van with a new shape, a new design, and a new name, Ford Econoline. Finally, the work-loving, fun-loving Econoline station bus. It's priced less than most compact station wagons, yet has twice the room of the biggest full-size wagon. And it converts to a load carrier in a jiffy. There are your Ford dealers now. The trucks with a new shape, the new design, and the new name, Ford Econoline. sports car, blazing a new trail of excitement. The new Ford Bronco for 1966. A rough, tough, go-anywhere, climb-anything sports car. Choice of powerful six or big new 200 horsepower V8 engine. Clear out snow in four-wheel drive. Cruise down a road in two. Two-wheel drive without annoying whine. Smooth as silk on paved roads, Ford's new Bronco gives you synchronized shifting. Velvet smooth coil spring ride. Bronco Roadster, built for fun. Bronco Sports Utility, a do-anything workhorse. Bronco Wagon, family carry-all. Same of Bronco, a new V8 Bronco at your Ford dealer. You're about to see the Battle of the Vans. Three competitive vans in the all-new Ford Econoline. To prove that Ford's better ideas make all other vans obsolete, we raise the roof off all four vans for an inside look. First, let's compare servicing. The other vans must be serviced from inside the driver's compartment. But the Econoline has an outside service center for oil water battery. Now, let's compare load space. We're putting these equal-sized kitchen cabinets in all of the vans, but because the engines in the other vans take up load space, the cabinets won't fit. But the Econoline engine is moved forward for 23% more clear floor space. See, this kitchen cabinet goes all the way in. You might say the new Ford Econoline carries everything, including the kitchen sink. Competitor is a 72 Ford pickup, the one that works like a truck, rides like a car. Ford's the pickup with a cat quick response and easy handling, and a big, roomy, comfortable cab, with exclusive features like twin I beam independent front suspension to smooth out the bumps. Now, you shouldn't treat your truck like this, but a Ford's built super tough to take on even the most rugged jobs. See your Ford dealer for a pickup. Works like a truck, rides like a car. What is the first thing a smart horse buyer does? Just this. Sure, he knows it's more than appearances that count with a horse. And if you're wise, you'll do the same thing when it comes to buying a truck. Yes, sir, you look under the hood. Because here is where truck buying begins. Look for the one big advance that is revolutionizing engine performance and gas savings. Look for modern short stroke design. And for 1955, only Ford, the largest builder of V8 engines, makes a short stroke V8 for every truck size, from pickups to 60,000 pound big jobs. As you see here, Modern short stroke engine design means that the stroke is shorter than the bore. 
This reduces piston travel and piston speed. Piston rings last as much as 53% longer, and you get longer engine life. You also get more power, more punch, and save up to one gallon in seven. To make sure that your next truck has this totally new type of engine, look under the hood. Look for a Ford Short Stroke Engine V8 or 6 in a moneymaker. A new Ford Triple Economy truck for 1955. They're at your Ford dealers right now. At 16, Jack Wilson started on his first truck driving job. The year was 1930. Times were tough, and riding a truck was rough. In 35, times improved, but that truck ride was still the same. In 43, Jack went to Europe. Driving a truck was the same, sometimes even hazardous. By 50, Jack was home and had started his own trucking business. But that old truck ride still seemed the same. One day, Jack got mad. Why don't they make a truck that rides like a car? So Chevrolet did, with the new 1960 torsion spring ride that's almost as smooth as a Chevrolet car. Notice how Chevy trucks with new independent torsion spring front suspension absorb rough road shock. And this beauty is easier than ever to load with lots of cab room for driver comfort. From road to roof, the 1960 Chevrolet trucks are years ahead of any others in durability. And they haul loads faster. Where rough roads used to slow trucks down, a 1960 Chevrolet truck today will haul more, make more for you. They're all new and all trucks. At your Chevrolet dealers now. No matter how bumpy or lumpy or jumpy the road, the driver rides easy and so does the load. Everything smooths right out as never before. With the all-new, brand-new 1960 Chevrolet trucks. These big, brilliant new stars of the American highway are the outstanding creation of Studebaker's all-star team of motor truck designers, engineers, and stylists. These great new trucks have been given a name new to the world of motor transport, and they have earned the right to their proud new name through grueling tests at the proving grounds, in back-breaking climbs under massive overloads, and long-sustained high-mileage runs over the test loop. Studebaker engineers have perfected amazing new riding qualities and given you America's easiest riding truck. They have led the field with cross-link variable ratio steering to make it America's easiest steering truck. They have proved the ability of new sturdier springs to survive the tortures of off-the-road surface shocks and the incredible, almost amphibious performance of the moisture-sealed ignition system. They have hurled these Studebaker trucks into brutal brake tests to prove the effectiveness of better lining materials and heavy-duty brake boosters. They have subjected Studebaker truck engines to dynamometer runs in the Arctic temperatures of our North Pole room, simulating the worst of winter starting conditions. And they have turned on the heat to prove the summer starting and running ability of these engines at desert hot temperatures. Out of these efforts has come a triumph of power plant engineering. Three great Studebaker engines, WorkStar, RootStar, PowerStar, for stellar performance on every job and every road. As the sales leaders of our great new Studebaker truck line, our designers have created half-ton pickups with a high-capacity eight-foot body, the Studebaker E5 and E7. Here is the style star of the American highway, a motor truck of tremendous appeal to anyone whose truck must sometimes do double duty as a passenger car. Style-minded wives and sweethearts will fall in love with the he-man good looks of the Studebaker transportation star. 
especially the new optional deluxe cab with its tasteful saran upholstery and foam rubber seat cushions. The model you like, mister? Huh? Chevrolet trucks attract the attention of everybody. And you wouldn't be here if you weren't interested in a delivery truck, right? Well, sure, but I... Then tell us what the average man with delivery problems wants in a truck, and maybe we can show you Chevrolet's answer is the right one. What's first? Well, I suppose the first thing's economy. Good enough. And truck economy, of course, starts with the engine. Chevrolet's valve and head engine gives you more performance and economy than any other engine of the same size. And that's not just a claim. It's been proved in official American Automobile Association tests. It's one of the reasons Chevrolet's are so popular for delivery work. Yeah? Well, what's behind all this economy? Practical design. Look. Chevrolet's design is being widely copied because this Chevrolet valve and head engine is more efficient. Fuel mixture passes freely into the combustion chamber and exhaust gases zip right out. The four-way oiling system supplies the right amount of oil to all friction points. And the cooling system protects every vital point in the engine. Things like this in Chevrolet add up to performance and operating economy. And here's something else to remember. The engine parts are easier to get at. That saves you time and money when service is needed. Okay, what's next? Hmm? Oh, well, what's she like on the job? You mean handling, driving, delivery ease? Yeah, things like that. Well, here are some of the things that count. On Chevrolet's panel models, for instance, you can swing those rear doors open to 90 degrees or a full 180 degrees back right up to a loading dock. And take a double duty model. There's more usable load space inside than you can find in Grandpa's barn. Easier to get what you're after too, with room to get around and low loading height. And on the road, easier handling is the mark of all Chevrolet delivery trucks. For instance, the shorter overall length of the Chevrolet double duty makes it easier to get in and out of tight spots. You do a lot of shifting in city delivery work, and you get the convenience of a steering column gear shift on all Chevrolet trucks with a three-speed synchromesh transmission. All Chevrolet transmissions, including the four-speed, are synchromesh. That guarantees you easier shifting, extra safety on steep hills. What about brakes? the best. You get safe, sure, dependable stops with Chevrolet's exclusive articulated brakes. They give you full lining contact. Add Chevrolet's bonded linings and you're sure of better braking with longer life. How about steering these rigs? Practically like a passenger car. You see, with Chevrolet's recirculating ball type steering gear, there's a lot less friction down below when you turn the wheel. That means easier steering. And here's another extra. Many Chevrolet models have a foot-operated parking brake. Mighty handy on those multiple stop deliveries. Anything else? Yeah. How strong are these jobs? You mean load protection or durability? Both. Well, that driving compartment you're sitting in is not only roomy and comfortable, you and the load get extra safety from Chevrolet's all-steel welded construction. We call it unit design. That means every section of the body is designed for extra strength when attached to the other sections. And underneath, you've got a rigid, rugged frame of all-channel design. Sturdy springs, 
and smooth acting shock absorbers built to cushion the load against road shock. In fact, you'll find Chevrolet will give you lower operating cost and lower delivery cost per package, whatever the item. Remember that almost every third truck on the road is a Chevrolet. And that's because truck users know value when they see it. For Chevrolet, trucks are not only economical, durable, and dependable, they're good looking. An advertising asset to any business. Don't you agree? Sure, you say it good, mister. Well, it's your money, and we just want you to... Wait a minute, pal. I haven't got any money. But, uh... My boss must feel like you do. He just sent me down here to pick up our fifth one. <laughs> that fellow knows Chevrolet's answers to a delivery man's problems as well as I do. But now, how about you, mister? What do you need in your delivery operation? Chevrolet has the answer. <laughs> become quiet. Even steel and stone lose themselves in the dark stillness. And at last, the city is asleep. Or is it? No, a vital part of the city is very much awake. Thousands of men, thousands of trucks, a life stream of any community, flowing tonight and every night, so that tomorrow morning the city will be able to carry on as usual. Men and trucks, working while the city sleeps. Working so evenly, so smoothly, that they and the important things they bring are taken for granted. We couldn't easily exist without them, for they provide us with the very necessities of daily living. Down the highways that lead like arteries to the heart of every town, big and small, come the rolling wheels. Tomorrow, fresh fruit and vegetables will be needed. And in the country, ton after ton is loaded on trucks. Men city-bound, perishable cargoes rolling swiftly toward their destination. Tomorrow, fresh milk will be needed. And from country depots, trucks bring in thousands and thousands of gallons. Drivers working on schedule so that milk, essential to the health of adults and little children, will arrive on schedule at the great city pasteurizing plants in the wee small hours. And moving forward, 
steadily as the hands of the clock, a mighty flow of men and machines on every highway, so that you and I may have fuel for our cars tomorrow. So that you and I may read the newspapers tomorrow. So that tomorrow we may have electric power. And fresh bread right out of the oven. The commodities we require. The luxuries we've become accustomed to. Fragile blossoms on the one hand. On the other, building materials of every kind. Freight of every kind. That new automobile we ordered. Everything moving ahead on trucks. Nearly every necessity, nearly everything that graces modern life, rolling through the dark and into the dawn, setting the stage for a new day that is almost here. And a very nice day it is, too. of others, there begins again the daily routine, an immediate flood of clear, sparkling water, commonplace, not worth a second thought, but commonplace only because of careful maintenance, because night after night, watchful crews care for the giant pipelines, keep the water flowing. Commonplace, too, the electric toaster at the breakfast table. But behind the glowing coils are more men and more trucks in the night, maintaining power lines, doing difficult jobs that have to be done right. So that toasters toast, percolators perk, and electricity is available for any use at any time. Let's look at this typical breakfast, examine it more carefully and find out just how it got on the table. Orange juice of oranges arriving regularly from Florida or California. And there are trucks in the picture. Fresh cream, rich and smooth, carried a hundred miles only a few hours ago by truck. And these eggs, direct from the farm, a truck brought them. Here's bacon that started for this table from a thousand miles away coffee and the sugar that goes with it. Both from far off places and always trucks, trucks, trucks. Yes, every morning when people awake in big cities or in the smallest villages, they find markets crowded with good things to eat. Fresh good things brought by truck from every point on the map. Celery from California or Kalamazoo. Green vegetables from the green valleys of the west and the coastal plains of the east. Potatoes from New Jersey, Maine, Idaho. Pork from the southwest or from up in Iowa or Illinois. Beef from Texas, Kansas, Nebraska. At the markets, fresh food of every variety, originating in a thousand places. And at stores, fresh merchandise, thanks to trucks. Household articles of all kinds, originating in manufacturing plants throughout America. Refrigerators loaded in Ohio or Michigan for delivery in Oregon or Georgia. Furniture built in Chicago and Grand Rapids. Starting off by truck for New Orleans and Baltimore. Fabrics from the South, from the Eastern Seaboard. Clothing, dresses from New York, gloves from New England. Manufactured goods of every variety brought in by truck. And raw materials too. Products of the rich American earth. Backbone of America's industries. These two travel by truck, but where the truck is concerned, no job is too tough 
or too big. Powerful and sturdy, convenient, economical, fast. No wonder trucks play so large a part in carrying the nation's freight. And the Ford Motor Company, proud of having pioneered low-cost personal transportation for millions, is equally proud of the Ford V8 truck, which brings to more millions at lower cost the best things in life. For 20 years, Ford-built trucks have played feature roles in the vital drama of transportation. A drama of machines and of men. Men who are courteous, efficient, courageous. Machines that are dependable, rugged. Together, trucks and the men who drive them are helping to maintain in America the highest standard of living the world has ever known. Singing wheels that serve America. Goods and commodities from all over America. For the city must live, the city must eat and be clothed, must work and play. And great, unending, infinitely varied are the needs of the city. The city takes, but the city also has much to give in return. A set of dishes for the farmer's wife, machine tools for a garage in the valley, magazines and rayon panties, washing machines and candy, tractor parts and fancy shoes, teething rings and cameras, singing wheels that serve America, a vital free enterprise at work, a great industry working to keep those wheels turning, an industry that speaks its own language. Hike them off, man. Come on, hike. Heave the anchor on that double bottom. Push them up, monkey. Let's roll. Roll, freight. Move it out. Button her up. Here's the hot one. Off the rim. OK, hot shot. Put her to bed. OK, take it away. We roll on the singing wheels that serve America. A tremendous, fast exchange of goods and commodities, rolling on purposeful wheels. 30 miles away, 100 miles across the mountains, most of America is still asleep, but the trucks are rolling. All day they roll, and all night. America can't wait. You want what you want when you want it. So the trucks are rolling. Gallons of milk, pasteurized, certified, and rushed to the city. Sealed and delivered and ready for breakfast. Fuel for your engines, your cars, and your factories. Up from the sawmill, lumber for houses. Girders for buildings, bridges and railroads. Hay, feed, and grain for cattle and horses. Ham on the hoof and eggs by the million. Furniture and breakfast food, circus tents and peanuts. Garden truck and radio, silk socks and concrete. Things to eat and things to wear. Things you want for work and play. Modern America won't wait. You want these things today. Upon the unfailing service of singing wheels is built the highest standard of living ever seen by the human race. 
Even in the large cities served by steel rails and waterways, trucks form the final, most important link in the vital distribution of goods and commodities. And more than 48,000 towns, cities, and villages in this country are totally dependent upon trucks for all the necessities of life. Because the trucks keep rolling, we are inclined to take them for granted, forget the service they give. But just suppose that for some malevolent reason in every city, town, and village all across the nation, suppose the trucks miraculously disappear. the end is a ghost city, a dead land, a nightmare of desolation. But of course it's just a bad dream because no force can stop progress. The trucks won't stop. America isn't going to stop. Here they come. All day and all night the trucks are rolling. many are four million people? This is just a handful, of course, just a few thousands. Perhaps you can visualize a hundred thousand people at a football game or some other great assembly. But four million. Try to imagine an army greater than the entire population of the city of Chicago. If you can, you'll have some appreciation of the number of wage earners who make their living keeping the wheels turning. These, with their families, equal more than the combined population of Chicago and New York. One out of every 11 paychecks issued in the United States goes to a worker in the motor truck and allied industries to maintain their families. To make and maintain the trucks, every state contributes its treasures of raw materials. From the agricultural regions, corn and cotton, flax and soybeans. From the forests, lumber, turpentine and rosins. From the ranges, hides and wool. From the mines, iron, copper, zinc, lead, aluminum, nickel, coal, and a score of others. Every trade, every craft, every profession is represented in the gigantic enterprise of putting America on wheels and keeping them rolling.
million trucks to serve America. Who owns them? Who operates them? One fourth of all motor trucks in the United States are on farms. And because the farmer has motor power to speed his products to market, you and I live better at lower cost than any other people anywhere. Among the large truck users are the American railroads with huge fleets to supplement their rail lines. Because of trucks, freight is collected and assembled at shipping points, and merchandise that would otherwise be congested in the terminals is quickly distributed. Better service at less cost. Now we can look at these singing wheels through new eyes and understand them better. Singing wheels, better service, better living, at lower cost to everybody. They clean our streets, deliver our parcels, speed the mail, transport our children to school, protect the trees. Trucks carry the load in every step of the interesting metamorphosis from trees to mile-long rolls of newsprint ready to feed to the presses. And the news of the day delivered to the newsstand or your own door. Some of them live a life of thrills and excitement, protecting property, adding speed and power to the long arm of law enforcement bringing swift relief in time of emergency in our complex modern civilization. Some spend their lives in back alleys, patient drudges without glamour but very necessary. On great construction projects, brawny giants move with ponderous, powerful dignity, carrying tremendous loads easily and dependably, helping to build huge bridges and dams, bringing life to once barren waste laying the foundation for some towering metropolitan skyscraper or a modest cottage. Our modern civilization depends upon the great network of highways lacing America into one great community. And trucks built the highways, the smooth ribbons of concrete, the super express motorways and the rural byways, making neighbors of cities and towns and villages once widely separated. A vast network of travel arteries for everybody's use for everybody's profit, built and maintained by the singing wheel. Summer and winter, these arteries must remain open. So again, the trucks go to work, clearing the highways. The wheels must roll, goods and commodities must go through. In building our great highways, in maintaining them and keeping them open the year round, trucks bear the burden. And in paying the cost of our vast arterial system, trucks also bear the burden far more than their share. A recent report to Congress by Honorable Joseph B. Eastman, former United States Coordinator of Transportation, now Chairman of the Interstate Commerce Commission, proved that during the period from 1921 to 1937, motor vehicles as a whole, including trucks, have more than paid their full share of all highway and street costs. This report showed that the average passenger car paid $26 annually in highway use taxes. The average light truck for hire paid $105. The average medium truck for hire paid $282. The average heavy truck for hire paid $403. The average heavy truck with trailer for hire paid $832. From other statistics, we see that motor trucks represent only about 14% of the total registration of highway users. Yet, trucks pay 27% of all motor vehicle taxes. Let's look at it another way. Today, trucks are paying $350 million annually in registration fees, fuel, and other taxes for the use of the highways. A sum equivalent to all the maintenance costs of our state highways all over the nation. Enough to pay for all the repairing of our vast arteries of travel from coast to coast, from Canada to Mexico in the state highway systems. And in addition, pay more than one-fifth the total expense of construction of new roads and bridges 
and the reconstruction of all roads in our state highway systems. Besides all this, and exclusive of their income and social security taxes, trucks now contribute each year upward of $200 million to the general expenses of government. Proudly they roll along, and rightly so. They pay their way and more. They comply with all the stringent local, state, and national regulations. They do their job and well. I want you to meet a good American a gentleman of the highway, a man who knows his job and does it proudly and well, a representative of hundreds of thousands of expert truck drivers throughout the nation who have been especially qualified and trained for their vital job. So every driver trained as these men have been has had to pass a physical examination as rigid as the medical examination given for life insurance. Mentally and physically, he must be qualified to meet the exacting standards of this new industry. Proof of his continued fitness must be on file at all times at his headquarters. More than that, he must know all the safety regulations. What's the maximum number of hours you can drive? Ten. If another load was waiting, could you go right out again? No, sir, not until I'd had eight hours rest. That's right. When may you pick up hitchhikers? Oh, never. Suppose there had been an accident. Somebody was hurt. Well, that's different. In case of an emergency, a flood, or an earthquake, or whatever, all rules are suspended until the people, or the property, or whatever it is, are safe. That's the law? Yes, it's in the Interstate Commerce Commission regulations. But on top of that, we've got company rules that go still further. I've got a first aid kit in my cab, and I know how to use it, too. How about individuals in trouble? You ever help them out? Sure, why not? We're all running on the same road. I help you tonight. Tomorrow night, you may help me. For instance? Well, a couple of nights ago, I was sailing along. I was pretty well ahead of the ticket, the schedule, that is, and I was taking it easy. When I see a flashlight blinking at me from the side of the road, I figured someone in trouble was flagging me down. Sure enough, down the road a ways, I find this fancy big sedan. He'd been sticking his foot in the carburetor, I guess, driving pretty fast, that is, and straightened out a turn. Brakes weren't too good, I guess. So there he was, so I just heaved him a line and tried not to laugh at what his wife was telling him about his driving. Nothing to it. I pulled him back on the road and saved him a long walk and a long wait. And it didn't take me five minutes, but it'll be five years before he forgets what his wife told him, if she ever quits. What are the rules that regulate your driving? Well, outside of the local and state regulations, there's this, the interstate regulation. You know them? I better or else. Every motor carrier and his employees concerned with the transportation of persons or property by any motor vehicle shall comply with the following regulations and be conversant therewith. And you better know them, that's all. All of them? Try and catch me. How often is your truck inspected? Before and after every trip, that is, in respect to the condition of the trailer connections and things like that. And, of course, there's a regular inspection of the whole driving mechanism, steering, brakes, lights, signals, the whole shooting match. Do you have any part in that? Sure, look. After every trip, I fill out one of these reports covering everything about the handling and performance of my truck. And do you actually do it? Why not? It means easier driving for me. And does your employer pay attention to this report? Sure, it's just good business. Keep your truck in tip-top shape, you get better service out of it. Maintain schedules and save money. Spend a buck today on maintenance. Save ten bucks tomorrow on repairs. Uh, just one more question. How does the operating condition of your truck Compare with that of the average passenger car you meet on the road. Well, let's just skip that one. I don't want to rub it in. There is your modern knight of the road, proud of his job with a record of which he may well be proud. And just as these singing wheels may be depended upon to make possible for every one of us a better life, so may they be depended upon to provide the lightning mobility of defense for our national life. In the troubled world of today, our thoughts turn to national defense. Because in an emergency, time and mobility are just as vital to defense as striking power. The old system of forced marches of foot troops is now as obsolete as the old-fashioned musket. The infantry that spends its energy plodding down the road has little left for fighting. Picturesque cavalry with all its jiggling equipment is thrilling to see, but not nearly fast enough to keep pace with modern tactics. 
today in a fraction of the time that once was required to get the old style division started, the new triangular divisions are moving, underway. With this new motorized efficiency, the trucks bear all the burdens. In the motorized army, everybody, everything rides. And these great carriers have unlimited cross-country ability. They service all our national defense needs, our Navy, our Army, and aircraft bases. Call it lightning war, call it anything you choose. It is really nothing more than efficient transportation, a science in which we are already experts. With half the trucks of all the world right here in the United States and the experience of building and operating them efficiently, we can be confident that if we must motorize and mechanize our defensive power, no nation in all the world is our equal. serve America. A great industry working to keep those wheels turning. Every trade, every craft, every profession is represented in the gigantic enterprise of putting America on wheels and keeping them rolling. Keeping them rolling. Serving a greater America. Roll and trucker, keep rolling on love. What trucks do we demonstrate? Four-wheel drive, tilt, D-100 pickup. Oh, I thought we were going to show our campers at work. Why don't we use those? We are using them. How do you think we're getting out to location? Eddie? Yes, sir. Did you hire the stunt drivers? They're all set, sir. Pay them off. I'll do the driving myself. Oh, Mr. Knotts, isn't that too dangerous? It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. W.A. Henley, 1879. Let's move. Mr. Oh, yes, yes. That mud-loving power wagon. I want to show this baby's ability to get through anything. All right, set it up right here. I'll be here in just a second. I know he's trying to demonstrate Dodge trucks at work, but uh, don't you think that's a little ridiculous? If you haven't tried it, don't knock it. Oh, Horace, stay with me now. No 
no telling where I'll go. I'm going to whale this baby till we get footage of cells. Good boy. Good boy. Be careful out there today now, boss. Yeah, watch that mud, boss. Watch it. Take it easy, Mr. Knotts. You away from me? Be careful on the rocks. Ready, camera? Ready, camera? Ready, camera? Ready, sound? Ready, sound? Ready, sound? Roll him! Roll him! Roll him! Boy, you just gotta get them in these babies so they can feel the power and ride. Bobby. 